secret passageway. Exploring the Washington coast today with this crazy guy I've known for 20 years. The stories that he could tell are not safe for work or audiences under 18. So we won't be sharing any of those today. No way. We're definitely going out there. Look at all these wild strawberries. We are directly north of what they call Shasha Beach or Shishi Beach here on the coastline right near the Macaw native um, lands Indian reservation. I believe this area is borders Olympic National Park or is part of Olympic National Park. Some of it's tribal land, not exactly sure. We're here to explore this beautiful bay, look for some sea caves. And actually we were here a couple hours ago when the tide was a little higher. We know there's some sea caves over here. The tide's way lower now, so we're about to get all up in those sea caves. Josh, have you ever been in a sea cave that's not mine? <laughs> Maybe once, but not- Twice, three times a lady. Yeah, <laughs> not, not, not this hardcore. Sea caves! <laughs> oh, so we were actually in this one earlier today and water was coming through here and it was pretty fun. But now you can see a lot more of the life. Don't step on the sea urchins. Oh. oh, is that an urchin? Yeah, there's a green one in there. Oh, anemone, 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 that's what I meant. Oh, there's a crab. Oh, look at that water. Yeah. Oh, cool. The crab jumped in. Oh, the crab. There's a crab right here. Oh, yeah. We were in here a few hours ago, and it was like waist deep right here where we're standing. So, I gotta say, that was a little more fun. <laughs> but we're doing it safer. And then there was another one around this corner that it was a little too low, not enough uh, head passage airspace to, uh, to get in there as the water was rushing in. So I'm glad we're doing it now at low tide. So this cave, we were here a couple hours ago, about three quarters, two thirds full of water. I thought about going in there, but I figured, eh, play it safe, come back at low tide. Definitely would have been a death cave if I came in here when the tide was, I mean, the water was way higher. And look how deep this is. Uh oh, man. You get stuck under here. Cool. Oh, this is like a super narrow crack. This definitely would have been more dangerous with water going through it for sure. Well, maybe you would have gotten lucky and gotten stuck and then... Yeah. And then with your head above water. Yeah, I would have gotten stuck with my head above water. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Oh. It just kind of dead ends as well. Millions of years of ocean tides pounding away at this rock has created these amazing, beautiful sea caves. And you can see they have all different shapes and sizes. But well, one thing's for sure, anytime you go in a sea cave, safety is the most important thing. That's why Josh and Sam have PFDs on. I have headlight, we have several sources of light, and of course, the GoPro, which really doesn't do much for safety, but it allows me to share with you guys.
Here, I'll give you a hand, dude. Let's see what's going on up here. Oh, I would say up, up this way. Oh, there's seagulls up there. They're sounding the alarm. We're being invaded. We're being invaded. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we can actually go all the way. You're on an arch right now. It's pretty cool. This is pretty awesome. Like arch life. <laughs> Look at the other side. Dude, go ahead, come on up. Come on up and take a look at this thin little arch. You're chilling on. Go fast, ye landlubber! So when we were at Cape Flattery, we read about the collision of the Japanese and Chinese um, boats back in 1991. I'm curious if this is a piece of one of those boats or some other, uh, it looks like some other uh, seagoing vessel wreckage here that we found in this secret little cove north of Shasha Beach. This sea cave here, this might be our last one for today because the tide's starting to come in, but I'm super excited to see if there's any little hidden nooks and crannies in there to explore. What are you thinking about that, Josh? <laughs> I think it's the crown jewel. <laughs> Scraped that pretty good. Oh, scrape. What did you do? Adventure. Oh, Josh is cut up. See what happens. Owie! Owie! What happens when you go adventuring with Jesse St. Louis? You get a little bloody. You become your idealized self. Safety <laughs> first. Jesse, remember? You did that in your video? Oh, yeah. It doesn't apply to me, though. That hole right there. It's not a crab's butthole, but it smells like one. Infamous.